Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. We'll talk about this guy for a moment because he's back in the news. Uh, I've made several videos about this. This this content creator is probably the reason why I started doing content creation a long time ago. Um, in the last few years, he's had a rough time, uh, mainly due to his own uh, his own fault. Basically, uh, it's a self inflicting gunshot wound. No pun intending, considering the fact he did pull a gun on another uh, YouTube streamer, um, which was, I guess, harassing him. But uh, you guys have seen that already. Everybody's talked about it. But we're going to talk about what happened uh, on Twitch the other day. Um, first, let me go ahead and put some uh, perspective on this just a little bit. So I made a video a few days ago uh, where I had my shirt off. And it was only to right here where you could just see my arms and my chest. Stuff like that. The reason why I did it is because there's this new meta on Twitch where uh, some of the streamers, usually just females, uh, just took their brawls off and just filmed from right here where you can't see anything except for the cleavage and usually they'll oil it up or something like that. And Twitch came out and said, hey, this is allowed. This is artistic nudity. Uh, then there was a lot of degenerates that got on these... Uh, webcam girls and started saying all this stuff and uh twitch had to walk it back now there's a new one there's a new meta where basically the girls will be fully nude fully nude fully nude but they'll have sensor bars on their no-no parts um and i guess which i haven't seen it yet I, I i don't hop on twitch as much as i used to uh even though i plan on getting back on twitch um but there's a lot of controversy behind this um Probably since the beginning, like the last few years of Twitch, like um, debating what is considered sexual content and what is allowed and what is not allowed. And the line keeps on moving to the point where we don't know what's happening. Um, some people say it's basically softcore prawn. Um, and, you know, they're not totally wrong. Um, and now, am I blaming the, the, the women who does this? Am I mad at them for doing it? No, fuck no. Uh, if you're if you're able to make money and you know that's your thing, if you have talent or the body, go for it. Uh, I don't think Twitch is the best place to do this, considering the fact that uh, a lot of the Twitch user base is young kids, like maybe 13, 14, 15 years old. Uh, but a lot of the streamers are older, though. Like some of the big populars, maybe in their twenties and thirties, um, and usually the girls are just. I mean, there's beautiful women on this site, and you know they show off and they get away with it. Some of the bigger channels, like Amaranth, like they get away with this stuff, and um, there seems to be a double standard when it comes to who can do something and who can't do something. Uh, smaller streamers tend to get. Uh, kick to the dirt whenever they do something wrong, but the bigger streamers that do something extremely wrong, they maybe get like a day or three day ban and they come back and do something even worse. Um, but Boogie was on Twitch the other night and um, he decided to go all in on this trend. Um, as, as you know, Boogie is trying to remain relevant um, for years now. It's been a few years before, since he's become, well, anything good like and i hate to say that because like i said i still like boogie but i still think he might be a piece of shit like even after watching the documentary and seeing all that stuff i'm like you know man that's um i don't know i don't i don't know if i like you anymore i don't know why i looked up to you for all these years when uh you're definitely something different um than what a lot of people thought you were like most people thought he was like the mr rogers of the internet or youtube and he turns out to be like a fucking narcissist <laughs> oh a, an attention-seeking narcissist uh and you know if he watches this video i don't really give a fuck um you know i've s said my piece uh so you know but anyways he decides to get on stream and strips strips down to i believe it was nothing left um to the point where his genitals was covered by his his <laughs> his meat skirt. That's the best way I can put it. Boogie was a big man. He was about 600 pounds. So him standing up like this and his stomach goes over his genitals uh, where it's not showing it. But apparently some people thought um, 
it, they did see something down there, which I, you know, like I said, I haven't watched the full clip. Uh, I really, I had enough. Like I, I seen it in the news and I was like, Oh no, what the fuck happened? And then they said he got banned from Twitch. I'm like, you, you, you got, you jumped the line. You, you jumped the shark. You shouldn't have done that. That's stupid. Now one of your uh, ways of getting revenue is gone, making you even more broke than you actually are. Now, I don't know how long the ban is for. Um, usually in most cases, uh, if it's, and I hate to say this, and this is going to sound stupid, but uh, most of the time when a male streamer does something similar to this, they usually get banned permanently. Um, if it's a female streamer and they're big or something like that, bringing in the views, they get like a two or three day ban. Like a while back, there was a girl that was getting um, some action live on stream. Um, and she, I think she only got banned for a week and she came back. Um, but it, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty wild who can and who cannot get away of certain things on Twitch. Um, that's why I haven't really streamed much on Twitch, which, like I said, whenever I start streaming again, I will be back on Twitch. Um, we'll be back on Twitch, YouTube, Kick again, hopefully Facebook. Um, but the thing is, I am going to get streaming, but I'm not going to get down naked. Like, when you seen that video of me taking my shirt off and then showing half of my chest, like, I was totally out of my comfort zone, and I was scared to death I was going to get banned, but luckily I didn't because I didn't show anything, um, nothing at all. But uh, to get on get, to get on stream and take your clothes off and, um, dude, come on, man. Come, you're trying to fix your reputation, and you're only making it worse. Like, it's, it's downright cringe, one thing, and... Um, I think at this point, if you haven't already, I think you do need to seek mental health, uh, some, some type of, uh, some kind of doctoring of some sort, some kind of, uh, counseling or anything like that. I think you kind of need that. Like, and you know, there's nothing wrong with seeking help and there's nothing wrong with saying you're wrong. Um, I know eventually what's going to happen is you're going to run out of, uh, this fame, and, you know, I know the documentary brought you some a little bit more viewers, but, um, you know, all I see on Twitch, uh, YouTube, Reddit, especially Reddit, Twitter, there's a lot of hate towards you, man, like, um, and you're going to have to wake up one day and be like, hey, I, I got to get a fucking job, I got to be, I got to be a normal human being and contribute to society, not saying that streaming on Twitch is bad and that can be a job, but when you don't have the numbers and you're making a giant documentary telling how broke you are or hopping on streams saying how broke you are and not willing to go the distance and get a job. I, I, I know what it's like to not have a job. Uh, you know, I know what it's like losing everything. Um, and I know, you know, I've watched you since the beginning and watched you go from nothing to something. Now you're going down to nothing again. Um, it does hurt, does suck, hurts your psyche just quite a bit. Um, it never is going to feel good, but I don't think getting on Twitch or stream and taking your clothes off is going to help you any. I think, uh, this is a big L, man. This is a big L. Um, you should really sit back and think, um, but like I said, I don't know how long you're going to be, uh, banned. They might give you a week ban. I don't know. Um, I know if I got on air and done it, I'd probably be banned permanently, but I don't plan on getting up, showing my ass or my ding dong. Like, I, I don't, I don't think you guys want to see that. I'm a big guy and he's way bigger than I am. Um, and like I said, whenever I did it, did the video with my shirt off, that was, I was nervous, man. Uh, but I did want to call attention to what's going on with the meta, but it seems like it keeps on evolving. Uh, to the point where this happens and, you know, this could be a double standard thing or this could not be a double standard thing. This could be just, hey, we had enough of your shit. Uh, you got to go. You you got to go. Like, get, get out of here. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I will see you soon.